Hi! For this video, we're going to learn about how we can navigate our iOS device so that we can interact and get connected to our Epson interactive projector. Let me show you and let me guide you step by step on how we're going to do this by playing this video. So the very first thing we need to do is we go to our Wi-Fi settings and make sure we get connected to the projector of that classroom. In this case, it's named PAX. So once I'm connected with PAX, I now go to the app. So it's called Eye Projection App. The moment you're there, you click on the Wi-Fi signal, which is PAX. Then you click OK. And the moment you get connected, you say Project Now. And then now we're ready to launch our Files. So we start with photo. It can access all your photo files. Then you, you just project something that you want to project. And then from there, you can already do documents also, which is PDF in format. So that's an example of a Google slide connected to PDF. And there I can launch it. I can also use video, the camera itself, to go live telecasting of what's going on if you want to demonstrate then we can just telecast it on a big audience. Next, I'm going to show you on how we can project a file that we usually send in the messenger. So say, for example, the file, a PDF file that was sent to us, the calendar file. And then we want to introduce that to the students and explain. So let me show you how. You just click on the file. And then once the file is opened, we open it in Safari. Open in Safari, the moment the file is in Safari, at the bottom, you see some buttons in which where you can open it. And so you choose open in Epson Eye Projection. That way you can already save your document by clicking in the upper tab. And then once you click that, the document gets saved in your documents and then it saves so you can just project it offline. There you can zoom in and out the document as seen there, so you can vary the size. And at the same time, you can annotate on the document by using the pen and you can also vary the color and the width of your annotations. You can also vary the transparency. You can also erase those annotations. So remember the projection in the projector, you can also annotate also on your phone. If you want, if you're from a distance from the board, then you can just annotate on the device itself. So that makes you very mobile in the classroom. So you can go at the back, you can go to groups. So that's those, those are examples of the files. Now let me show you how to retrieve a file from Drive, like a Google slide and how to open it. So like for eye projection app slide, there's an option open in. So open in, then it says preparing to e export as a PDF file. And the moment it's there, you have the option where to open it. And so you choose Epson Eye Projection. In the same way, you click the tab on the upper right that will download the file. And the moment you can import it in your app, in the Eye Projection app, there it will go to the list of your documents that you can easily retrieve for your next classes. And then you can project it um, right there in the classroom. So that's, that's another thing. When you want to become a moderator, then you can um, project students' work, not just your phone. You can project two to four devices. All you need to do is let the students connect to the Wi-Fi itself so that you can, you can already get their signal. And the moment it will list there, you can choose what device you want to project. So that's what multi-device projection means. Then you can make your phone also as a remote, aside from the remote of the projector. So I hope that I'm able to give a run-through of everything for iOS device. Now it's time for us to apply this in the real classroom setting. Bye for now. God bless you all. This is Madam Narka saying, don't stop learning, unlearning, and relearning. Please share, subscribe, and like my YouTube channel. Bye for now.